Okay, hello everybody. Thank you for tuning in. And this is our last video in our remote camera control series. And today we are talking about VPN slash IP control. So basically, our PTZ Optics cameras can be controlled over IP. And in the last video, we showed how to use our RokoSoft Windows control software, and uh, which allows you to have an external IP address um, for the camera, and you can control it from anywhere in the world. So that's really what we're going to talk about today, except we're going to talk about doing a VPN. So you do need to talk to your IT department about this, right? So your IT department can give you two things. One, they can do the virtual private network. And usually that gives you a um, some type of authentication protocol or program to or yeah to basically authenticate into the network the local area network so let's show you how that would work so here's your camera it's connected to the LAN okay it's connected to the LAN and you're over here and you're not connected to the LAN. You're in a different country or a different state. Well, you can use VPN on your computer to basically connect your computer as if it was connected to the LAN, and then you can just type in the IP address of the camera, which just since we're doing this, most of you don't know this, but it'd be like 192.168.111.1. I don't know, let's say 88, which is the standard IP address by default for the camera. So you could be able to plug that into the camera and into your computer as if you were in the local area network using VPN. Super easy. The other way that we can also do this is you can take an internal IP address and ask your IT department to make it an external IP address and basically do what's called port forwarding and make that internal IP address accessible through the ex external IP address and then there will be a um, you know, when you t from anywhere in the world, you type in this external IP address, it will ask you for the username and password of the camera. I highly suggest you change it from the default, which is admin, admin, you know, change it to something else. But basically once that's done, uh, you can control the camera from anywhere in the world. You don't even need a VPN. Okay, so those are the two options. Let's take a look at the back of the camera here. And we're going to set this up and just show you. So put it on the tripod anywhere in the world. Uh, connect it to the power. We can plug in USB for video. We can plug in HDMI for video. The network control, though, is going to be the most important. So we're plugging in I, uh, the USB the network control, what do we do once the camera is on the network? So we got the camera on the network, now what do we do? Well, let me go over here and show you guys a couple things. First of all, we have our IP address settings tool here. So there it is there. Let me see if I can just zoom into it a hair here and make it bigger. Okay, here it is. Let's get it a larger, oops, there we go. So there's our IP address settings tool. We can go ahead and as soon as this is installed on any Windows computer, you can hit search and it's going to pull up all the IP addresses of the cameras, the PTZ Optics cameras on your network. You can also set a static IP address as well, um, which you know we'll talk about. We have other videos about, so I'm not going to do that. But type the IP address into the camera. Boom. It will the first time you log into it, like if we go to something else go back to it it's gonna ask you uh, I've already logged in authenticated but normally it would ask you for a username and password but I've already logged into it we have pan tilt and zoom control here so that's it that's really it now this live preview may not work depending on the web browser you're using it works on Midori and Firefox I'm using Chrome right now so it's not going to show but usually you'll have video from either one of the HDMI or other sources um, so that's the number one way to control the camera once you have access to it over the network. And then really quickly, I'm just going to briefly touch on this because we don't fully support this. This is more for the techie guys out there, but we have the open source control software here 
free download. These are little control apps that you can customize and just hit presets. And again, as, all, as long as you have connection to the camera, whether it's through a VPN or however you want to do it, you can control it over the network. So that's how it works, guys. It's fairly simple. Um, you can get the IP control via VPN or an external IP address. Uh, you can, there's also a couple other ways, but those are the main ways that you can grab remote camera control with our cameras. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and take care. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video. And don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.